Hi guys, it's Gene here. First of all, I want to uh, congratulate Noel and Tony. You got a really nice compliment on the storm cleanup work that you did in Montrose. And Tony, you had a very exciting day today. You put out a car fire on your way to the job. Congratulations for helping out a fellow Houstonian. Um, Come see me in the morning and I'll get a new fire extinguisher for your truck. Okay, so today's safety briefing is anaphylactic shock and uh, severe allergic reactions. Okay, the audience is my friends, my family, my co-workers, and my fellow green industry professionals. This briefing is for entertainment purposes only. The tree care business is a dangerous business and you can't learn safety by watching YouTube videos. That said, you're welcome to watch, enjoy, comment, and especially provide your suggestions to improve the Spanish. I didn't translate it, I'm only reading it. I encourage you to have fun in the comment section, especially with my terrible Spanish. This briefing should familiarize you with the signs and symptoms of anaphylactic shock and help you know what to do in the event of a severe allergic reaction. Materials are the non-copyrighted safety manual in English, and also the non-copyrighted safety manual in Spanish. So I intend to try to get it over with in six minutes or less. Let's see how I do. Okay, what is shock? Shock occurs when the cardiovascular system, heart and blood vessels, fails to provide sufficient blood circulation to the body's vital tissues. Anaphylactic shock is a life-threatening reaction to an allergen. An allergen can be ingested, inhaled, injected, absorbed, or could be an insect bite or sting. Anaphylactic shock is a true emergency. There is no way to predict what may happen to a person in anaphylactic shock. Severe reaction may occur immediately, or a mild reaction may become severe in a matter of minutes. A reaction could be delayed up to 30 minutes. What are the causes of severe allergic reactions? A. Insect stings or bites. B. Ingested substances such as food, spices, berries, shellfish, etc., and prescriptions such as penicillin. C. Inhaled, such as dust, pollens, or chemicals. D. Injected, such as drugs, antitoxins, or penicillin. Or E. Absorbed through the skin, such as chemicals, poison ivy, etc. What are the signs of severe allergic reactions? One, decreased level of consciousness, may be restless, faint, and or fall unconscious. Two, breathing may be labored or difficult. Three, pulse may be rapid and or weak, or may be imperceptible. Four, skin may have obvious irritation or blotches. Five, face may have swelling of face and or tongue, or cyanosis of the lips. That means blue lips. Six, vomiting. Seven, extremities. You could have swelling of ankles or wrists. My extremities get itchy. Palms on my hands and the soles of my feet. What are the symptoms of severe allergic reactions? One, itching, burning skin. Two, painful constriction of chest with difficult breathing. Three, dizziness. Four, feeling of restlessness or anxiety. This is important. Five, nausea. Six, headache. Seven, temporary loss of consciousness. And lastly, please note that signs and symptoms may or may not be present. So you really got to watch a person who's been stung. Okay, so let's take a stab at the Spanish. Again, I encourage your suggestions as to what might make this a better translation. ¿Cuál es el choque anafalactico? El choque ocurre cuando el sistema cardiovascular, corazón y vasos sanguíneos, no proporciona suficiente circulación sanguínea a los tejidos vitales del cuerpo. El choque anafaláctico es una reacción de amenaza de la vida a un alergeno. Un alergeno puede ser ingerido, inhalado, inyectado, absorbido o... Podría ser una picadura de insecto o picadura. El choque anafaláctico es una verdadera emergencia. No hay forma de predecir lo que puede pasar a una persona en choque anafaláctico. La reacción severa puede ocurrir inmediatamente o 
una reacción leve puede volverse severa en cuestión de minutos. Una reacción podría retrasarse hasta 30 minutos. ¿Cuáles son las causas de reacciones alérgicas graves? Picaduras o picaduras de insectos. Sustancias ingeridas como alimento. Especias, bayas, mariscos, prescripciones como penicilina, polvo inhalado como polen o productos químicos, medicamentos inyectables con, como antitoxinas y penicilina, o químicos absorbidos como hiedra venenosa. ¿Cuáles son los signos de reacciones graves? Disminución de nivel, nivel de conciencia. Puede ser inquieto, débil o se puede caer inconsciente. Respiración lab laboriosa o difícil. Pulso rápido o débil. Pulso puede ser imperceptible. Irritación o manchas obvias en la piel. Hinchazón de cara, de cara y o de lengua. Cianosis o labios azules. Vómitos o extremidades. Hinchazón de tobillos o muñecas. ¿Cuáles son los síntomas de reacciones graves? Picazón, piel ardiente, constricción dolorosa del pecho con dificultad para respirar, mareos, sensación de inquietud o ansiedad. Es muy importante. Náuseas, dolor de cabeza, pérdida temporal de la conciencia. And please remember los signos y síntomas pueden no estar presentes. Es posible que no se presentan los signos y síntomas. Thank you very much for watching. Please put your name in the comment section so that I know that you uh, watched this briefing. And stay safe out there. See you next time.